Hello everybody, Flick here. It's time for yet another Let's Look At that probably has a bit too loud music, although I love it, so I'm not sure I want to turn it down. Of Zenzi Zenzik, I think is how you would pronounce it, by BitHuffle and published by Adult Swim Games, who I've covered a number of games for in the past. Yeah, that does seem a bit loud, but I like it. The music's really good. Still, I have to talk over it, so hang on, I'll, I'll turn it down just a little bit more. Like there. -ish. It might still be a bit too loud, but you know what, this is one of those loca uh, occasions, not locations, where I'm kind of okay with it. That's that's going to do. So what is Zenzi Zenzik, other than very hard to pronounce? It's a fast-paced twin stick bullet hell sure, to quote the developers, and I agree with that description. That's the word I'm looking for. It's really difficult, it gets hard very fast, it's an uh, achievement hunter's wet dream really because it has 210 achievements available for you to get on Steam anyway. I played it for 37 minutes before recording this video, I got some stuff unlocked. I can't beat the third stage, that's where I'm at, but let's start with the first one so I can talk. Oh yeah, first of all you have classic mode and macro mode, there's a lot of game modes available in this game. So Classic is where you're going through five stages and you have three difficulty levels for each stage and you have to spend these credits you earn on new weapons and also unlocks. Then you have Macro which is a big roguelike open world which I tried once and honestly I didn't like it as much as the Classic mode because I found it a bit hard to tell where I was able to go and where I wasn't and that led me to getting jammed in corners a lot which is not a problem in the Classic mode. So we'll jump into the Classic mode and then you also have Boss Training, Bonus Training, Gauntlets which I have not unlocked yet. And there is co-op in the game. I think it's online co-op, but I haven't tried it. But that's why the other little person's down there as well. There's also quote limited controller ability, whereas I'm going to be using keyboard and mouse. So anyway, we'll go to regular. As you can see, I've done the first two stages. I have not been able to get very far on stage three at all. The achievement progress is blocking things like getting through the stage without dying, getting through the stage without a certain hit limit or scores etc etc and that's how much I need to unlock the next so I'm quite a ways away. So we will attempt to do the stage I'm stuck on at some point but we'll start with level 1 so I don't have to concentrate as much. So let's jump in. I've got half the achievements available on this stage for normal but then there's hard and very hard. We are only doing one player and now I get to select my weapons. So you have one weapon tied to right click. Well you have your standard shoot which is this and that gets upgraded by picking up weapons dropping from enemies. You also have a right click, which you can't really see right now, but my current right click is... No, not that one. That one, and I love it. It's a bunch of tiny little missiles that get fired out. And then you also have the left alt button, left control button, whichever it is, and that fires death beams. It's also fun, but it slows you down. Now, I would like to point out, I almost didn't cover this when I got the press release about it, because I watched, like, or looked at some screenshots. I looked at the video on Steam, and my reaction was, what the hell is happening, I don't understand. You might get that as well as you watch me play, but believe me, when you're actually playing, it's easier to keep track of than you would think if you're watching it third party. Don't be put off if you think it looks like something that's ridiculous. I mean, it's meant to be hard, and it is, believe me, but I've never felt the controls got in the way. So let's put it that way. I also should point out your hitbox is the small cube inside the cube. It is not the outer cube, and that is important. So, WASD to move, left click to normal fire, and you'll see me use the specials as we actually get in there. I could buy a charge shot. I don't actually see that being used. Oh, is that the big star? That would be the big star. Uh, I honestly like the two you start with, to be honest. Yeah, hold the button to charge and release. And then there's also laser pods. They look kind of cool, I must admit. Time jump. Ah, that would be very handy for the stage I can't do. Which is the one it shows it on, believe it or not. And then black hole. Oh, it absorbs all the bullets. Interesting. We'll stick with the uh, standard 2 even though I could afford charge, so uh, it's not my style. Let's get started. The music might be a bit loud, but I honestly, it's points, I'll let it just play. So enemies will fly in, and my job is to shoot them, pick up shields to absorb free hits. If I don't have a shield, I've got three hits and then I die, although if I am willing to spend half a million points, I can buy back an extra life. But obviously then you finish on a lower score. So I want to pick up these weapons so I have more, and then if I right click I can do my badass missile thing which uses up the bar and filling by picking up the white cubes. The stages don't change, they are set based on the difficulty you've selected, and enemies will just kind of pop in pop out, so it's up to you to try and kill as many as possible to get the highest score possible. Oh it's spacebar, that's the button you press for the other special button, I'll take that shield. 
You can only have one shield at a time, I think. Oh, wait, no. I think it's two. You can also expend the shield by pressing middle mouse like this. And it clears the area around you. Oh, very nearly. <laughs> You can see my score in the top left as well as my current score multiplier that will go down I think if I get hit. Also you drop weapons if you get hit but you can pick them back up again. So let's use our super missile attack on him. I just love that attack so much. It reminds me of Zone of Enders. No, no energy. Okay. <laughs> and the general gist of it is you try and get through without losing all your lives, building up as big a score multiplier as you can and then you get a bonus stage where usually evasion is key. And then you get a boss, and then that's the stage done. Also, if you hold shift, you move faster. Oh, that's why I was thinking of control. If you hold control, you go slower, or alt. Oh, it's alt. Yeah, if you hold alt, you go slower. If you hold shift, you go faster, and that does affect how weapons fire, as you can hopefully see right now. That's me holding shift to go faster, and then that's me moving slower. So it gives you a bit more control over where you're firing. And that's for higher level play than I'm currently at, I feel. I don't think I'm ready for that kind of stuff. Wonderful visuals and absolutely excellent music. I think the music gets better further in, and hopefully we'll hear that. Uh, I'm getting a little bit... there we are. Definitely also a game which requires a lot of concentration, so bear with me if I don't play as well as I have been off camera, because I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm talking about. But you are going to be hearing this after the game's already out, because I almost didn't cover it, as I said. Decided to give it a chance on a whim eventually, and I'm glad I did. So it's available on Steam, and there will be a link to the Steam Store page in the description below, or the official website, whichever. It's available for £6.99, which is the acceptable price range for an indie game in my opinion. Oh, you died already. Now we should be nearing the end of the first stage, and then we'll be able to do our first bonus stage, which I'm not, not very good at the bonus stages. They require a lot of twitch movement that I find a little bit hard with WASD sometimes. But if you use a controller, you might be able to get around that. Death Beam! Wasted more energy than I got back there. Oh, and I got hit. There was my shield. Or one of my shields. Concentrate. So leave a little cube in the middle of the screen you have to avoid getting hit. Nothing else. Enter the bonus level. Right, so the general idea, although they do change, is just... You're getting a constant score, as you can see up here. You just live. You live and the score goes up higher and higher. So the just here, the gist rather, is don't get hit, just kind of touch the walls, also I'm not sure what my voice did there when I said hit. Hay fever is bad. So yeah, I'm just making sure the little cube in the middle of my big cube does not touch any of these walls or the bonus stage ends, and the longer I stay alive, the more bonus points I get, although I overcompensated and accidentally walked into the wall, so I only got like almost 500k. And now we're on to the boss. Bring it on. How much bar do I have charged up? I don't think that's very much. The boss health bar is along the top, and his patterns change as he goes along. But generally, you've just got to, you know, hit stuff, dodge stuff, have some fun. And it gets more hectic as time goes on. The thing that makes stage 3 harder is that the enemies start getting lock-on missiles like my special that I'm doing here. And they're very hard to dodge, while also trying to shoot enemies. But we'll see that, because after this one I'm going to jump straight into the stage I can't do, and then we'll probably, for the rest of the video, try and do that stage a couple of times. Then I'll get super salty, and then we'll give it. That's, that's how I see the rest of this going. Oh, I do not have enough energy to do any kind of powerful bar. Uh, beam, rather. Now let's try and get this outcrop bit damaged. The health bar is affecting all bits of it, by the way, so it technically doesn't matter what you hit unless you do more damage to certain bits. I'm not actually, actually sure about that. I mean, is that doing more than if I was hitting an edge? I'm not sure. You know, it might be. It's hard to tell. Also, if you have the max upgrades weapon-wise, which I currently do, you might as well still pick up the dropped weapons because they give you big points based on your multiplier. Death Beam! He's almost dead. I can't destroy those sharp bits on the side there. It's like some kind of trippy flower. Alright, he's gone. Good. I don't think that was my best score, was it? Oh, it totally was! New high score! Leaderboard best is 27 million and I got 9.4. Well then! So now I have more cubes to spend. What we're going to do is go into classic, go into regular, and we're going to try the stage that I can't do. Haven't even, pardon me, seen the boss, I think. 
Oh wait, no, 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 that's not a lie. Uh, that is a lie. Rather, I got to the boss once. Couldn't kill him. Normal. One player. Basic weaponry. Although I could buy the laser pods. I'm going to buy the laser pods, and I want that to be my left weapon. So now I don't have the death beam, I have laser pods instead, which look kind of cool. Yeah, let's give that a go. Here we go. I like music to this stage. First thing off the bat, I want a shield. So there's the missiles I can't destroy. You just have to kind of dodge them. You have to do tight turns so that they crash or go off the screen and then they count as dead, I think. But yeah, the soundtrack to the game is fantastic. It's right up my alley for retro sounding stuff. Uh, it goes faster. Also, new weapon. Oh, it kind of auto locks on stuff. I like it. See, I'm spending so long dodging these missiles, including that massive barrage it does every so often, that I'm not concentrating on getting rid of the enemies, and thus I'm also losing out on points. Oh, that's great. I like that a lot. No, I don't like that so much. I'm not very good at bullet hell games, to be honest, so... Definitely, if you can do better, put your money where your mouth is. There's leaderboards. There's 210 achievements. Go do it. If this doesn't come with the OST, and I don't think it does because I didn't see any option for that on Steam, you should probably think about adding it. Ah, Go away! <laughs> see, the problem with my specials is it slows me down and I need my speed to dodge as well. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's probably one of the best dodges I've ever done. Get out of it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh, you know what? It wasn't the boss I got to. It was this irritating snake thing and I couldn't kill it. <laughs> I just, it felt like a boss fight. That's what it was. Alright. Keep them doing wide circles. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wide circles, wide circles. Ah, I think I'm boxed in. Oh no, yeah, I lost my shield and my weapons. Oh wait, no, I lost the life actually, I didn't have a shield. Ah! See, this is how things fall apart, even though I'm almost done. I need a shield. There's no shields! Come on, we're getting into the good bit of the music as well, I don't want to die now. Ah! Oh, <laughs> the stuff came down from the top of the screen! So the leader we're best on this stage is only 12 million, so I'm guessing that means it's very hard. Restart. Let's do this. Ah, that damn snake thing every time. That, that's my Everest so far. Oh, I was an early shield loss, although I do have plenty of time to get another one. Oh, I love that they go everywhere. I don't really want the beams to be splitting, or the missiles to be splitting. I want them in one big cluster because then they're easier to dodge. There's my shield back. And we're on max weaponry now. That barrage every time. Collect all the power-ups. Alright, I'm going to hold on to much, as much of the bar as I can until the snake bastard appears and then I'm going to try and annihilate him as soon as he appears. That means this point is going to be harder to get through, but in the long run it should hopefully pay off. In theory. Keep in mind the communism works in theory. Although I think the bar is now full. So I might as well use a little bit of it. Do a little bit of damage, get in there. Damn it. Pend in a little bit. Oh, there we are. I think they follow you up until a certain point. Oh, I lost my shield there, I think. Nope, wait, no, I haven't. I find it very hard to... That's the one thing I do find it hard to notice when I don't have a shield, although it is technically fairly obvious because I just don't have the outer uh, white cube. There goes shield and life. Now keep in mind, actually, I do have enough points that I could buy back that extra life. Ah, I'm gonna. Right, there we go. I spent 500k on an extra life. And here comes Snake Bastard. Yeah, treat it like hitting Chubb with a penetrating tier in Isaac. Get as many of his bits as possible in one shot. I'm already out of super, though. Oh, apparently I got hit there. I didn't actually see what hit me. Damn. Get the weapons back. It's these little bu blue cubes, rather. I'm having trouble focusing on them when I'm focusing on all the green of the dodge. Piss off forever, rocket faces. Alright. We actually got past the snake thing into this bit. Alright. Now, 
After the sides, they appear at the top again. Don't accidentally walk into them this time. That's the good thing about it always being the same layout. You know what's coming once you've learned it. So from the top, yes, good. Will I actually live to see the boss of this stage? I don't think I've got to the boss. We're getting there. It can't be much longer. All right, yeah, bonus level, good. Have I seen this bonus level? That will tell me whether or not I got to the boss. But my score is appalling because I had to spend half a million on an extra life. Well, I didn't have to because I'm not down to one yet, so I may not have had to spend that. Oh, this one actually has enemies. Oh wait, that's not how this works, I see. I've just got to keep on dodging. The bonus stages are very, very interesting. They're all, they are all based on the premise of dodging, but in very different ways. Oh, oh you clever git. Damn. Alright, I almost got half a million again. That's fine. So now we're on to the boss. I have not seen it. And I do have enough points to buy two extra lives if I just want to finish the stage. Alright, what we got? Oh, wait, no, I'm on one life. Shit. <laughs> That's not good. In fact, I'm going to buy an extra life straight away then. <laughs> oh, God. Let's bullet spam the boss. Got a shield. Die! <laughs> I fired all my special there. I hope it did something. Get all the specials. All the specials. Right, he's got two out of five bars done, or maybe more bars. I can't stop to count the bars. I can't tell if I'm doing more damage hitting somewhere else. I'm, I'm just. Firing. Just just fire. Oh, lost a shield there. Uh, breathe in. I'm down to one hit. Do I buy an extra life? I'm going to buy an extra life. I want to win. I don't care about my final score. I want to win. Alright, I see how your pattern's changed. It's the little missiles. That's the thing to do it. Trying to get that upgrade, but I didn't get to it in time. If I get hit one more time, I can still buy an extra life. Oh, but I did it! With an absolutely pathetic score, but I still did it. Leaderboard's best is 12 million. Hey, got more achievements! Points spent on levels 1.5 million. Damn. Alright. Do I have enough points now to buy the next stage? No, I do not, because I spent money on unlocks. Damn! Well, to finish on, why don't we try... Hang on, we'll go to... Battle Throw five levels in one go. Practice the bonus levels. Boss training. Now, let's try level two, since I haven't showed that. And let's do hard mode, and I'll get wrecked by it. Why not? Let's end on that. So just to remind you, this has been Zenzi Zenzik, I think, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Available right now, and you can go check it out at the link in the description box below. I encourage you to do so. Don't be put off by how confusing it may look. It isn't quite as confusing when you're actually playing it, I assure you. And it's so satisfying when you do like a badass dodge, or if you just you unleash your super and take out an entire page, a page full. It's also dog barking, apologies. Screen full of enemies. Like so, that just that feels very satisfying. Oh, that doesn't. <laughs> also, yes, this is much har harder than the standard second level. That's okay though, we're still alive. Oh, and that weapon. Oh wait, no, I already had max weapon, that's fine. Also, Dragon Echo has just messaged me saying, interesting game name, you're correct, I wonder how you would pronounce it. Oh, let's do some of that. Oh yeah, the music to this stage is really weird, I love it. Uh, through here. Be the hitbox. You are the hitbox. But don't tell Twitch. I'm in full concentration mode. I still imagine I'm not going to get to the boss. We'll see though. I need that, thank you. I don't use the ability to blow up my shield at all. I did it once in the video to show off the fact you could do it. 
I don't do it and I think I probably should. Against bosses it could be exceptionally useful. Hell, even here. There's one shield sitting there so I might as well clear some space, yeah. I think you still get the points regardless. Alright, we're getting a nice multiplier. A massive one, in fact. Don't leave. You don't get to leave. Oh wait, maybe you do. I take it back. Alright, this is the same as normal. I remember this part. Although I bet there's more waves. Yeah, I've got death beams as well, and I think mine might be a little bit better than yours. I keep forgetting about my missile attack now, because I love this new laser one too much. Uh, I'll use it a bit here. Not as visually appealing, but maybe even a bit more effective at killing multiple enemies. I think I lost a shield at some point there, but that worked out. Oh, you're new. Hello. Where's my Mongus powers when I need them? Ah, you're taking a lot more hits than normal. Oh, damn. Alright, there was one shield. In fact, there was both shields. I'm down to my lives now. Could you drop another shield, please? Instead of more death beams? I don't want more death beams. Ah, I don't think I can get out of this. Nope, there goes a hit. Alright, I'm down to one hit. I could buy another life. I'm gonna. I bought a life. Come on, it's like fighting it lives. You can do this. Except you have death beams in this game, so therefore you win. That might be it. Yeah, it is! Okay, we got to the boss at the very least. I had to buy a level, a uh, life rather, but that's okay. I'm almost at a thousand times multiplier. I wonder if the bonus levels are the same. I'll tell you in a second. Yes. Well, same type, might be a different layout. So you see when the bars are going to be coming and you've got to dodge them. That's how this one works. I wish I was better at the bonus stages because I like the music a lot to them. Oh! I didn't see that bar coming. I was... Sorry, I was lost in the music. Oh well. Right, the boss. Let's see if the boss is any different. Get... Let me in the lift, please. Thank you. Here we go. Uh, that's the same, but maybe he'll have different attacks? He's firing a bit more, I believe. Ah! One life left, but I did pick up a shield. Never mind, apparently I didn't. Beast Sloth got 28 million! Damn, I should have bought an extra life. I had the points, I might as well if I was going to die. That's going to do it! This has been a Let's Look At of Zenzi Zenzik. I hope you enjoyed. Check out the links if you're interested and leave a like on the video if you want to show your support to me or the developer. As I said, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time for more daily gaming stuff. My name has been Flick and ta-ta for now.